Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel. I'm Tina and today we're going to be doing your September 2020 love tarot reading. All right, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and give these cards a shuffle. I will lay your cards down. I'll put up a photo as well for you guys to see what we pull here. Then we're going to get right into it. I do pull two layers. Let's pull the first layer now. Let me just give these a few more shuffles. Helps me tune into your energy. All right, September 2020, the sun is in Virgo, which means it's shining on your partnership house. All right, two more. Stop. All right, situation. What's challenging you? All right, how they see you, how they feel about you, what action they want to take towards you, how you see them, how you feel about them, what action you want to take towards them, and then the near future outcome. So interesting, Pisces. Let me pull a second card before I even get into it. You'll see the photos up there as well anyhow. Um, but the situation this month, we have death here. Transformation. Whoever you're thinking about, the situation is, it's been transforming. This is not like a new energy. It's been transforming. You're challenged by temperance here. Balance, creating something new from something old how to blend it to create something new. There's a little bit of a challenge there. Death is always painful. It's always uncomfortable. Ugh. Um, all right, let's see here. It's really interesting. Let's pull another card. Uh, no, that's too many. Sorry, let's get this in line here. Cards wanna talk when it comes to your reading, Pisces. They wanna talk this month. All right, let's see. Three more shuffles. Yeah. We got a few major arcanas here. We got the chariot, we got temperance, we got death, we got judgment. Things are changing. Things are changing. Undoubtedly. Um, undoubtedly, they're changing. You, I'm sure with death being here, you've known for some time. You have known for some time. All right, two more shuffles. All right. The situation. <clears throat> What's challenging you? How they see you? How they feel about you? what action they want to take towards you, how you see them, how you feel about them, what action you want to take towards them, and then the near future outcome. All right. It's really interesting. Um, super interesting. Um, we have death and the Hierophant as the situation. <sighs> Things are transforming. There's a commitment on the horizon. Absolutely. Um, it's just how do we transform and stay committed? I feel like that's the situation. How do things change, but we stay together the same? And you don't, you both change when death is here, right? Death is here, the whole situation is transforming. The way things were, I feel like want to level up, right? But death is always painful, it's always uncomfortable. And I, it shows here. It's showing here with the energies that both of you are feeling a little uncomfortable, that both of you are kind of struggling a little bit with it um, this month, but we have death and the Hierophant here. We have death and the Hierophant. Death is, I mean, purely it's a rebirth. It's transformation. It's transfiguration. It's going from one way to a new way of being. Nothing is actually going. It's just uncomfortable. It's the caterpillar becoming a butterfly. And with that, we have the Hierophant. There's commitment here. This is the situation. There's transformation in this relationship, and it involves commitment. It's involving commitment. Now, we're going to talk about it, Pisces. Some of you are persevering. Some of you are walking away. That is the situation here. Challenging that, again, we had temperance. Temperance is really about balance. It's about alchemy. Alchemy meaning blending two, total, two different things to make something completely brand new. And that's where the transformation is coming in. The two different, like you and this person are now going to blend together to make something totally brand new. Like a prime example would be a child, for example. That's like alchemy at its best, right? It's like a child comes through. It's a little bit of one, it's a little bit of the other, but it's something entirely its own. You're a little challenged. You're like, how do we do this? Death is always uncomfortable. Um, you're working through it, you guys. You're definitely working through it. We also have the Queen of Wands here. She's just somebody who's really influential, who's really spiritual, who's really social. Um, for me, it's just about kind of taking on the energy head on. And she also has like a very cooling effect. She knows how to make people feel really special. Just kind of tapping into that energy because if you can tap into the energies of the Queen of Wands, of temperance, it will help you progress in this situation. Though I will say no matter what, 
anytime death comes I know it's an uncomfortable card um, I definitely know it so I say that and I say it taking that into consideration now right now with how they're seeing you in this transformation man they're seeing you as the queen of swords and as the seven of swords first of all you got strategy they're knowing it they're seeing it in you you are definitely you've got strategy when it comes to this transformation they know that but they're seeing you as swords first of all so you're very rational you're very logical right now to them they see you just having strategy also with the queen of swords man she is very deep feeling, but she's nobody's fool. Um, not a detail will pass her, absolutely not. But they're seeing you basically, especially when it comes to this transformation, Pisces. The Queen of Swords is somebody who could find where things are wrong, like the root causes. She will uproot them, extinguish them, and restore order. And that's how they're seeing you right now. It's, 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 she's like a little uncompromising. She could be a little harsh, but you know, when you're having to make changes, especially with that sword, you're having to cut things out and they're seeing you have that strategy. They're seeing you make some head over heart decisions, absolutely, but she's sharp. She's real sharp and she is real deep feeling. And anyway, they see you as a queen. They see you as a queen. How do they feel about you, man? We got the page of wands here. Feeling a little sexual energy as well. Um, wands do also represent that primal sexual energy. There's a person who's looking at it, seeing its potential, being excited about it, absolutely. And we've got the chariot here. They, they feel determined about you, unstoppable about you. Like they have followed their heart. They know the direction they want and they're charging in. This is how they feel about you. It's a very powerful, very powerful energy. And then the action that they want to take towards you, you guys. <sighs> we got the Queen of Cups and the King of Pentacles. Whoever I'm reading for, they love you. They feel deeply about you. They value you as well. But that King of Pentacles here, man, he he's somebody who is dedicated. He's committed. That's the action that they want to take towards you. He is a provider as well. He takes care of his assets. But make no mistake, his most important asset are the people he love, is his family. This is a guy who is an investor. This person wants to invest in you. That's what they want. They want to take care of you. They're ready to put down lay down the bricks with you absolutely they want to be stable with you we got that king of pentacles energy and then we also have the queen of cups she's very nurturing she's loving she's supportive she's non-judgmental it's just really really beautiful energy for what the actions that they want to take towards you pisces really great committed energy the king of pentacles is so committed the chariot for how they feel about you is unstoppable it's victorious it's determined then we have the hierophant at the center of the reading there's commitment here, guys. It's just things are changing from the way they were, and it's uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable because you're in the middle of the change. You're in the middle of it. But right now, Pisces, I feel like you're, like they're feeling way more sure about you than you are about them this September. This September, that's how it's looking, guys. Um, now, how you see them right now, we've got Judgment and the Emperor. You see that they want to conquer something and that they got, they're, they're having to make a decision when it comes to conquering something. There's something that they want to take a handle on and you see them, first of all, as the emperor, he's a boss. You respect them. Whoever this person is, you respect very much so. This is a person who, without a doubt, keeps, thing in, keeps things in order. He's very much a father figure type of person as well. He rules over kings, you know, so he knows how to keep things in order how to keep things in check. But with it being paired with judgment, right now you see them as the emperor, absolutely. You respect them, absolutely. But you see that they're needing to make some kind of decision. There's something that they want to charge forward in. It's almost like a lesson. I feel like there's a lesson here. There's a test here, absolutely. And you can see that with them. You can see that they've got decisions to make right now. They got things they need to conquer right now and you can see it. Now how you feel about them. Remember I said some of you will be persevering some of you might actually walk away, but it's it's a test of your faith right now too, um, Pisces, because we have the Nine of Wands and the Eight of Cups with how you're feeling. Death is really painful. It's really uncomfortable. And we always, even if we think we're flowing, there's always a level of resistance because it's a lot of change that's coming. Even if it's the change you wanted, it's still unknown. And the unknown is scary. However, we have the Eight of Cups here, so you're definitely feeling like walking away. You're like, maybe it's not everything I wanted, right? But then, you know, clarifying that we have the Nine of Wands. And what's funny is the Nine of Wands does want to give up. 
there is an element of the nine of wands because you're so tired you've been through so much already and it's true the nine of wands is here it's the wounded warrior he's tired man but he he still has fight in him he still has fight in him so there is an element here of like you probably think about it sometimes i'm sure sometimes you're like oh you know just i'm ready to give up i'm ready to walk away i'm ready to throw in the towel right and just let it all go but the nine of wands even though they entertain that idea they don't do it they persevere man they stand strong in the face of adversity it's a test of their faith and they're gonna stand strong they're tired but they got fight in them so i feel like there is an element this month of you definitely feeling like you want to walk away you definitely feeling like you're ready to give up throw in that towel in the situation but you don't you're still ready to give it your all you're still ready to fight for it absolutely absolutely but you're tired you're tired um you're tired and then the action that you want to take towards them i feel like you've been obviously reevaluating right if there is if there's thoughts coming up of you wanting to walk away you've been reevaluating things right um and we have that card here as well presenting itself in your spread we have the four of cups here reevaluating right you're not saying yes you're not saying no like i said should i persevere should i walk away ah it's it's um it's death <laughs> death is a heavy energy it sure is it is out with the old in with the new it's because the old ways are not good for us anymore that's why it's trying to get out of here it's trying to do us a favor honestly it's trying to level us up pisces relationship 2.0 is what it's trying to do but anyway the action that you're taking towards it right now is not much you're still in your mind you're still making space for everything for this future for this commitment I feel like you guys are transforming into a deeper commitment as well, into a new way of loving each other. We also have two aces here, guys. Um, all right, I'll grab that after. But clarifying that, we have the ace of pentacles. The action that you want to take towards them, even though you're tired, Pisces, even though you've been through so much with that nine of wands here, you want to give them the ace of pentacles. You're ready to create and start this new reality, even though you're scared, even though it's really uncomfortable, even though you're not sure how you're going to blend in, how you're going to do this. You see the gifts from the heavens and you are ready to create this new reality with this person. You got this ace of pentacles and it's what you want to offer them. You're like, look, I got this in my hand. We could really do something with this. Let's forget about all these problems. Let's work through it. We can do something with this ace of pentacles. There's a new reality in both your hands. And then in the near future outcome and what's coming towards you, we got another ace, guys. We got the ace of cups. I feel like you guys are going to open your hearts to each other. There is love coming in deeply. We also have the nine of pentacles. So I feel like there's self-love coming for both of you. You know, it's really interesting because it feels very healing when I look at this right now. Because um, with the Ace of Cups and with the Nine of Pentacles, I always think of like the healthiest relationships are the ones where you do remain your individuality a little bit, right? There is identity in the in your relationship as well as a unit, but you always, you always need a little sense of individuality. And I also, with the Ace of Cups, think of self-love because the way we love ourselves also is connected to all of our other relationships and i feel some healing energy when it comes to the way we love ourselves and you guys are about to really start offering each other a new way of showing love of receiving love with one another is really very much the energy that i'm feeling here and i feel like you guys are still feeling your freedom it's really interesting it's just like a leveling up of commitment but what's so interesting is you're still kind of feeling your freedom your individuality and you guys are both like opening your hearts to one another. Really great reading. I'm going to leave it there for you guys, Pisces. Wonderful reading for September. I think there's commitment coming your way. I think there is a leveling up in your relationship. Definitely that's coming your way. Um, all right, I'm going to leave it there. Of course, if anything resonates, please like and subscribe. Thank you guys very much for letting me tune into your energy. I'll see you next week.